Let's close out on this terrific Tuesday with a look at what's trending with digital producer and my BFF, Trent Gilbert, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Christine. What's Wara. happening? Well, a lot is happening on 11 Alive. I love when locals make it to network television, and that's yes. the case with 16-year-old JJ out of Kennesaw, Georgia. She learned to code at the age of 10, okay? Oh, my gracious. Uh, her father, Antoine, was actually incarcerated for a lot of her youth, so oh. she found, uh, she created this awesome photo-sharing app for children to connect with their parents in prison, and it's really changed oh the game. God, it's, I have goosebumps. It's connected over 30,000 kids with their moms and dads. And today on Ellen, of course, a special surprise. Not only from Atlanta's own Luda, yes. Grammy-winning rapper, but then Ellen matched that donation. So let's take a look at a little bit about JJ's foundation that she's now um, done because of her photo sharing app and that surprise. Oh. So right now I'm on a mission to help 10,000 girls of color get into the world of tech and start their career path. And I know other little girls want to get into this world, but they don't see that they can do it. So I want to be that guide and help them do it and just start them off with their career. So we have actually have a scholarship fund as well that we're raising awareness to help these women and girls. Continue striving, continue doing everything you're doing. You are the future, 100%. Wow. Thank you. Oh, Trent, that That's is awesome. amazing. What an incredible young woman. Definitely. And Luda Chris donated 10000 Ellen matched that with another 10 k It's called photopatch.org to learn more. And yes. it's a great organization. She's helping girls in tech. And from right here in Kennesaw. Exactly. I love it. F father daughter duo and dogs on display. Now that Georgia is what, the number one team in the country? Yes. Hello, ESPN College Game Day is coming this Saturday to Athens, and we want you to tag us all over, please, at ATL and Co. on Instagram, on Twitter. Post the P Georgia Pride on our Facebook page. There's a look at Game Day. They're coming back, and we want to see your bright red colors, right, CB? Yes, I've got to dig up the one of Anne with uh, Jim's mom with Ugga. Yes. I've got to find that picture. That was so cute. We want one the, of the Ugga Uggas. shot. We one want pictures, <laughs> videos, tailgate pics, any and all, and it will be featured right here on the show. Please bring them, guys. I mean, please submit them. We'd yes. love, love, love to see them. All we get to do is post on a That's Facebook it. page. Come That's on it. now. Dorothy does it every day. That's Telegraph right. fashion. It's a great follow on Twitter. The demise of the suit, especially with COVID times. Of course, yes. everyone loves to look good. Look, I look very casual today. I'm in sneaks. <laughs> but um, a, a writer from Telegraph UK talked about how it's really evolved over the past few decades to kind of less and less and even in the workplace. I know, I know. We saw it was out to lunch and somebody was in a suit and he looked so mm -hmm. nice. It was like, yeah. wow, and you look just, at that. You were just telling me about Sunday to go to church because in the Catholic church, it's, I, I always wear a button down, but yeah, Jim you, wanted to wear his blazer. Yeah, you, some, some churches you have to wear a blazer. That's right. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Mwah. We love you.